Welcome back to my let's play of Zero Escape, Zero Time Dilemma. We last left off, um, we got stuck in... Stuck? We got stuck in a hospital room. Oh no, it would be really easy if I had some stock in some hospitals, wouldn't it? Let your money grow on the stock market. Um, anyway, so we were supposed to do something. We have a barcode reader. Mm-hmm. Not useful right now. Syringe, stethoscope, liminal spray. No. Let's try combining everything with everything. No. No. So, um... I guess we had some stuff going on. We had to find out where to start. Hmm. Wait a second. Oh, there we go. Oh, this took me way too long. Five to eight. Wow, that took way too long. Nothing. Six nine three. Oh. Man, I'm a little bit pissed to be honest. That it took me so long to figure this out. But then again, I sprayed it everywhere. And uh, for some reason, I just didn't think I needed to know the locker um, combination. A cube puzzle. Is he making us solve this? Oh, come on, give me a break. You never did like those pu puzzles, did you? Even when we were kids, let's do our best. Alright. A cube shaped puzzle. Though all the parts aren't fitting together right. One of those, huh? Taking them apart, putting it together over and over. My head hurts. This could get a little stressful and cause lasting traumatic harm to kids apparently. Oh, I get it. Wait. How? I don't really get it. Oh, like this. Can, can't I just... I'm going to guess it's like this. And up goes here. Oh. Um. This goes here. I can't really... Am I just going to hold them like this? Alright. That's easier than I thought. Alright, the puzzle's done. Something's coming out of it. I was afraid that there was to where to um you know rotate them or something. Ah, uh, that was annoying. I need the sugar pick me up. We we literally it literally took one minute. Alright, jump A. Stop complaining. Let's find the antidote, then we can look for Kenny in the lounge after, okay? Key card. Okay, but first this thing. It kind of looks like someone was dying when they wrote it. 139. By the way, that's a disturbing thought. So, here's the question. Why did they feel the need to write down all the codes if... Hmm. 275. Whoops. Why did they write down all the codes if we only needed one of the lockers? Oh no, never mind. Two of the lockers. Is a picture of a syringe pointing at a candle. Must be some kind of hint if it was placed inside that locked room. In that locked locker. Hmm. And uh, we know already. 
Hold on, what the hell is this? Aren't we going to comment on this? Who died here? Somebody must have died, right? Wow. Candle? Syringe. Huh? The card said to inject the candle, so I did. It's not doing anything. I don't think the card's wrong though. What are we missing? We are obviously missing something. So let's instead of do that, use the key card to unlock this thing. Hey, it fits. Can we use the CT scanner now? Let's try it out. Who to scan? Uh, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, I'm going gonna start a scan. Got it. I hope nothing bad shows up. Should no professionals do this though? Hey, look, the results showed up on the display over the desk. Alright, second one. Jump A. I'll leave you two to work the machine. You can call to me, I'll make sure to slice you up, Jump A. Okay, technically you're not wrong, but you could have phrased it less terrifyingly. The scan result is up on the display over the desk. We should go check it. Alright, but uh, last but not least, get ready Akane. Uh, don't do anything weird while I'm lying on this Junpei. Oh my god, these two, really. There we go. Okay. We should read it with the barcode reader. The barcode reader is responding. Hey, this thing just beeped. Check it out, the light on it turned green. Alright. A bottle of ink and a luck wrench. They must be needed for something since they were locked up in the drawer. Huh. Ink in a glass bottle. The cork is sealing it shut. Gotta be a reason it's here. Maybe we have to draw on people's faces while they sleep. It's Marcus Junpei, and please focus. Combining with the syringe. Mm hmm. A luck wrench. A luck wrench. Got any screws loose in your head, Junpei? What am I? A robot? Cut it out. Hmm. I don't have a clue what I can use this thing for, but I do have a clue what I can use this for it. Just combine it with the flame. Hey, remember the card we found in the locker? You know, that card that we found literally two minutes ago. Isn't it hinting to this candle? Oh, I get it. So we need to inject the candle with this. Well, we can put the ink in now. So let's see what it does. The ink spreading across the bottom half of the picture. This isn't creepy at all. So that card was hinting at injecting the candle. These two shapes on the side are strange. I wonder what they could be. A sinister stain. Does this part look like a candle to you? Maybe we can inject here too. Now it's spreading up and left. This section kind of looks like a candle. Maybe we can inject at this spot too. It's spreading to the top right. There's something here, right in the middle of this X. You're right, there's something. It's small and it can feel corners. Um, stethoscope? Some, something small with corners is in the middle. Maybe a bolt? We can remove it if it is. Lock wrench. It looks like there's a bolt in this X mark. Let's use the wrench to take it off. Alright. And this one too. Now what? Both of the balls have been removed. Yeah? So so what? Oh look. Look. Okay. Got it. And what now? Oh look, it's a cryopod or something like that. Whoa, the picture slid up. Something came out. 
What's this? Looks like there's something inside the glass. Could that be the antidote? The numbers are there, but what is the combination? Why don't we just turn it until it clicks? I doubt it will be that easy. Yeah, yeah, you know what? That's because we didn't use a stethoscope. There we go. Maybe we can use this stethoscope to hear the unlocking sound. Let's hope this works. Okay, everyone be quiet. Quiet is so, so quiet. Boom. Come on. You can do this. Why am I not hearing anything? Nothing. Oh! There we go, did it. Oh, what the hell was that? Other side. There we go. I did something correctly. That's obvious. Come on. Reset. Mhm. Mm Other way. All right. Mhm. Mm Come on now. Oh no, you've got to be kidding me right now. Oh, I completed it. <laughs> yes, it's unlocked. Way to go, Carlos. Let's open it up. And what's in here? I have no items to use anymore. Carlos, cases that look like they could contain an antidote. A, B, C, all the way to H. There are eight cases. And each has a button with a small container. Just what are these? Something tells me that I have to make a choice now. Congratulations, CT. Thank you, Zero. It appears you've successfully found the antidote. The poison must be circulating through and making you feel heavy, right? They look pretty okay to me. If I'm going to be honest. I don't get CC, why don't they just use this milliliters case. or something? It should be obvious that there are eight containers labeled A through H. Mm -hmm. Files of liquid are within each of these containers. Only one container holds the antidote. The other seven are dummies. Alright. And those dummies are... Okay. So if we're wrong, Will. Still, I am not so cruel. I shall give you a hint. Thank you. Sitting beneath each button is a sample of the liquid stored within. Mm -hmm. There is only one CC, but it is enough to provide a clue to its validity. The antidote has a peculiar characteristic. Tell me, I'm a chemist. Um. Five minutes remaining. If my calculations are correct, the poison will have spread completely through you by then, and your life is forfeit. Which case will you open then? The choice is yours. 
Oh no, it's one of these what things. What do we do? What the hell do we do? Maybe we should go left to right and lick each one. I'll take A. Carlos, grab B. Akane, you take C. No, that's not no. how it works. We can't rely on that method to work. Why? It takes three minutes before we know anything either way. That would be alright if we picked the correct one, but if we didn't... We have to take a mix. We're all dead. So, what do we... Junpei, just calm down. There's a better way. First, Carlos. A, B, C, D? To lick e, oh. F, G, and H. Mm -hmm. Next, Junpei. You lick samples C, D, G, and H. C, D, G, H, got it. As for me, I'll take samples B, D, F, and H. What about yeah. A? We don't need to test that one. Yeah, because Why? if we don't, we don't get numb... Just do as I say. Because if your tongue doesn't go right. numb, then that means Trust A. Akane. If nobody's tongue goes numb, then it's A. If only Akane's tongue goes numb, it's B. If both Junpei's, Akane's Aha. and Carlos's... It. My tongue's totally tingling. Okay, so it's either A, A, F, G, yeah, H. Me too. Mine's completely numb. So it's I, either H I or don't feel G. Huh, Akane! Hey, what's wrong? Ah, uh, it's already working. Shit, our resistances—they must be different. God damn it, Cheryl! Uh, it looks like the poison uh, got to her faster. So what God. should we do now? It's either G or it's H. The method Akane came up with. It's either G or H. We'll have to make the decision ourselves. Ah, oh, God. Answer. What's the answer? I lick samples E, F, G, and H. Junpei had C, D, G, and H. It shall be Akane clear, right? B, D, F, and H. And then, only Akane didn't feel anything. In that case, the container with the antidote is... G. It must be G, right? There we go. If she didn't feel anything, then it shall be G. If if my if his my presumption is correct, uh, Zero said uh, that we'd need a hundred cc's of the antidote. Uh, doesn't that mean that each of those are fifty cc's? No, I'm pretty sure these are one hundred cc. Uh, so uh, there are three left over. Uh, uh, whatever, we got it right. Uh, didn't we, Carlos? Yeah, I'm positive. <laughs> Just drink them, please. Stop Jun jabbering and Me. more ingesting uh, unknown fluids. Hang on, Akane. Hurry, get her the medicine. Yeah, I know. We need to take it too. Right. Oh my god, didn't okay, Decom Just got some... Scientists or something, or people who don't like talking and just more thinking. Did I got it wrong or something? Oh, flashback. No, that's. Wait. What's 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 going on? There was a flashback to my uh, first uh, room where Junpei got cut in six pieces. I'm really sorry. I just suddenly fainted and. No, it's okay. Your plan still saved us. Thanks. Huh. Still, six vials of antidote is kind of strange. Why so many? So we can send it to the other team. What are the other three for? Uh huh. These three are now deceased. We already knew this. As a result, three X passes will be revealed. I kill fool. That is all. I kill fool. Q team is. Wait a second. He 
even Wait kill. a second. He couldn't even see. I kill here went fool. Ugh, to just mercilessly kill someone like that. Oh no, it's right. It's right. So I guess that means only us and D team are still alive. Kinda, what are you doing uh, with your hands? Wait a minute. I think D team might be in danger right now. Carlos, <laughs> Junpei, grab the antidote and get to the lounge. Hey, what are you? No time to explain. Hurry. Hey, maybe they are poisoned too. So, whose blood is on the floor then? These are an antidote. Please drink them, Akane. When Zero spoke to us, I realized something. Oh, what did you realize? We weren't the only ones to be administered the poison. If you do nothing, the six of you will fall asleep. Or wait to never again come to this Ah. Uh, oh, you're right. He did say six. I forgot then. about the fact, but then again, yes. it was two days ago well, since I last played it. So the other three are everyone on D team. I just hope these actually get to them. Will he even reach them in time? The only thing we can do now is Do we have enough cheese? What? That he'll be in time? Or Or that he doesn't make it and there'll be six people dead. That's what you meant, right? Hmm. Junpei! Wait, kidding? he was say he oh, was saying God, that you sound like my mom. with his lip closed, with his lips closed, I should say. Not with one lip closed. That's what be weird. You don't really look all right, Carlos. Maybe the poison's not completely gone yet. Uh, no, that's not it. He had a flashback. I'm worried about the D team then. Um, Junpei, this. Might sound messed up to you, but I, s I saw something earlier, like a vision. A vision? Junpei, your head. It was in the pantry. Just your head. All right. <laughs> okay, stop with your creepy laugh. What the hell are you smoking, Carlos? <laughs> I'm fine. See? So something Look, is going to happen though. Attached and accounted for. Maybe uh, it's like a prophecy or something. I highly doubt you're seeing into the future. Um I agree. I don't think you're predicting what will happen. It's not the future you saw, but a different past. What do you mean? You know, don't you, Junpei? Morphogenetic field theory. Oh, yeah. A special field exists in a dimension we can't see that acts as a medium for information. Oh yeah, this, this may bullshit. Be what's happening. There's always Carlos something supernatural going on there. What? Remember what you said during the vote? You can tell down which path death waits and which is safe. Otherwise yeah. those uh but that's just um, my gut feeling. Are how you do you sure? call them again? Where are you going with this? You're a firefighter, right? Wow. There must have been countless times when you found yourself facing danger. Better to go right or left. Go upstairs or turn back. Maybe every time you made a decision, you were observing the other histories. Huh. Which room held someone needing your help? Which door blocked an inferno? You knew because you saw it happen already. Maybe he wasn't that kind of firefighter. Morphogenetic. Morphogenetic field theory. the same ability as you. And Junpei can do it too. He saved me once. It's thanks to his power that I'm even here at all. That was a long time ago. I... I haven't been able to use it since. Even now, I... Oh, there's Zero again. Hello, Zero. Greetings. How does it feel to revive from the brink of hell? Ah, oh, pretty good, Zero. thank you. Now it is time for you to sleep. When next you wake, know you will have no memory of these past 90 minutes. Alright. Pleasant dreams. Thank you. And they just fall. Asleep. 
How does that even work? Is it like a switch in their brain or something? Anyway, uh, like I said, this is going to be a quick one. Uh, because I have to do some other stuff right now involving my study. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, please consider to like or subscribe to my channel. Um, and also, I hope to see you in the next episode. So with that said and with that done, I like to say, um, uh, well, goodbye everyone. Bye.